Hi, we're Green Chops, and we're here to talk to you about the work we've been doing on Challenge 13 at Hack 17. Our team is made up of a number of different disciplines, data scientists, data architects, and project professionals. And the challenge we've been looking at is with 80% of the 2050 building stock already existing today, we must prioritize decarbonizing what's already there. So um, after it's been built, a lot of the emissions associated with the building are related to on-site energy consumption. Measuring and controlling the carbon emission of a building and operation can present itself with a range of challenges, but fundamentally occupiers need to understand their CO2 emission to provide reliable CO2 reporting and achieve net zero goals. So we want to provide a solution that measures operational carbon emission and understands the impact the behaviors the occupiers can have. So in an era where hot, hot desking is commonplace, users often choose the same desk purely based on feeling going back to the same location day after day. This will often mean multiple offices, floors being lit, heated and powered unnecessarily. We believe that data can help us reduce this waste by ensuring that floors are, are used to maximum capacity where possible before additional floors are opened up to use, users. So our model for change uh, sought to tackle that in, in, in three different ways. First, by modeling the different ways a building can generate carbon. Second, by predicting how usage and configuration will change carbon production. And third, by making that data actionable through a desk booking system and reporting system. For our building modeling, we used a selection of online data sources. One of the challenges we found that there was no single store of data on topics such as building efficiency, power usage, uh, and system options readily available. Uh, for commercial applications, we would you'd need to look, construct a large data set uh, to support the tool. Aggregating the data, we were able to start vi visualize it. Uh, this included options for multiple building configurations, splits of building system demands, cost and carbon output based on fuel use, and cost saving options for green energy systems. Given more development time, this could be expanded to add time dimensions uh, so that extra fidelity could be added into work such as working patterns, seasonal usage, expected demand calculations. This could then be compared with actuals and later merged with the CO2 reduction application to give further building insights. We designed a data model to calculate CO2 emissions given the optimal configuration of the office. We also looked to collect additional data sets that we felt could be used to improve the accuracy of our calculations and application in the future. We've built an application with the user interface to allow building managers to have the optimal configuration for reduced energy usage. Based on our calculations with the simulation data, we arrived at the conclusion that floors within buildings were not optimally used. With our application, we were able to show dynamically optimal capacity utilization and the resultant saving in CO2 emissions. Our app, a building management system focusing on desk-based booking, is designed in order to influence users' behaviors by calculating, modeling, and visualizing the impact that their choices might make within the office environment. The back office element of the app will highlight key data to office managers, building owners, and other key stakeholders, showing where desk space floor levels are being used inefficiently, leading to higher than possible energy usage. We believe that this will put a spotlight on energy waste, leading to greater understanding and buying from all participants. <laughs> With minimal effort, this is ready for commercial application. And it's ready to be picked up and scaled. The application could be part of a building management system, part of a smart metering system provided by an energy company, or included as part of a off-the-shelf space management application. Additional granularity of data would then add an awful lot of value to the application. We were asked, what steps have we taken to ensure the data is secure? All data has been stored in a Postgres database with username and password. The data service chosen would encrypt the data set at rest. The data set provided does not contain any sensitive or identifying information. We were asked, how will our visualizations allow managers to decide on best actions? 
Our application is based on making efficient use of space provided and gives a retrospective view of savings that could have been made. We also believe our system and visualizations allow end users to make more informed decisions on how they can have an impact of energy use and CO2 emissions whilst in the office. We were asked, with more time available, what more would we do? Lots. We need a lot more data from varied sources. With much more granularity, we'd, we'd like to build models, uh, but we feel our a basic way of performing the calculations required are valid, and at very uh, least, they work well for the data set that we had. With more work and knowledge of the building, we could drastically reduce CO2 production from the individual offices. Eventually, our product would offer real-time suggestions to users on how they might reduce energy usage, alternative floor occupancy and changes to meeting rooms, and be able to calculate how new building systems with light sensors, improved for efficiency, etc., would impact on the real usage of data gathered. For more information, take a look at our references that are included in our presentation pack. If you'd like to know more about the te technologies used, we've provided a list uh, on the final slide. Thank you for watching and vote Green Chop.